New at 10, a collegiate summer baseball organization and the city of Marysville are being sued. This stemming from an incident when a player allegedly suffered brain injuries after tripping on a mat in the field of play. Fox 40's Garsh Paul Sanga live for us tonight is Marysville after speaking with the player's attorney. And Garsh Paul, just how severe are these injuries? Yeah, Nikki, from reading the complaint, it is pretty severe. That game happened here this past summer at this stadium, and that player was in left field heading towards the foul territory to make a catch, and that is when the injury happened. The Yuba Sutter Gold Sox and the city of Marysville are being sued after a play on the field leaves one person dealing with uncertainty. Every expert we've spoken to about field management have told us, and I think this is common sense, that you can't have tripping hazards uh, in the field of play. Olivia Talio is the attorney for Hakeem Lewis, the player involved in this lawsuit. Back in June, Lewis played for the Palo Alto Oaks against the Yuba Sutter Gold Sox at the Hard Rock Park in Marysville. In a case filed in Sacramento County Superior Court, it alleges Lewis was running to catch the ball in left field. His foot tripped over a mat that was negligently left in the field of play and fell head first into the unpadded fence slash wall directly next to the mat. And it's a and it's a clear tripping hazard, especially somebody who's running full speed. Um, and that's not looking because that's not that's not where he's supposed to look. This tripping hazard Talu says was this piece of turf located in foul territory near the concrete wall. This picture was taken after the incident. Concrete isn't very forgiving. When someone's head uh, runs into concrete, the, the concrete wins every time. The complaint alleges the impact to that wall resulted in a brain stroke to the right side of the brain. Also other brain and neurological injuries that will require lifetime medical care. He's struggling. It's going to be a very significant and very long recovery. Talu says the city of Marysville, which either owns or controls the field, and the Gold Sox owner, YCM Baseball Group, didn't do enough to protect the players. The brain is, it controls everything. And so to have this type of injury to someone is, is um, it, it, like I said, it's a life-changing event and it'll have repercussions for the rest of his life. And we reached out to the ownership group to see if they wanted to comment, but we were unsuccessful. But the city of Marysville tell us they do not comment on active or pending litigation. Reporting live in Marysville, I'm Garsh Paul Sunga, Fox 40 News. Garsh Paul, thank you.